Five days have passed since your performance. How do you feel? I feel really good about myself, I'll tell you. It's been, it's been like a whirlwind. It's a bit difficult to take in, but I feel fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Did you think this could ever happen? No, I didn't. Not on this scale. Certainly not on this scale. Lots of well wishes, lots of interviews, lots of phone calls. It's been really mad. <laughs> it's been good, though. I love every second of it. It was a promise, a tribute to my mother, who was a wonderful lady. And why did you want to do it? Because I felt I had to do it for her. She was such a wonderful person. You miss her? I do. We can move on. It's getting personal. Yeah, the last couple of years since she lost her mum, it's, it's been very hard for her. But here's hoping now she's getting it all good. See, I think she'd be very proud of me now. And I think she'd be 100% behind me. Like everyone else is. Without a doubt, that was the biggest surprise I have had in three years on the show. And how does it make you feel when people are judging? persons and you by your appearance. You never judge a book by the cover. Because they found out afterwards I could sing. I think I managed to win them round. That's the whole name of the game. If the audience is a bit sceptical towards you, you try and win them round. That's what I think I've achieved that aim. Susan Boyle, you can go back to the village with your head held high. It's three S's. <laughs> Just to go on and do the best I can in the competition and perhaps sing for the Queen, which, whom I think is a very, very regal and beautiful lady and it would be an honour to sing for her. I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I prayed that God would be forgiving Then I was young and unafraid When dreams were made and used and wasted There was no ransom to be paid no song on song, no wine I'm tasted. I just thought mentally I'll show them, so I did. <laughs> if people are cynical, you try and win them round and it worked. Don't tell me how, it must have been a miracle, but it worked. <laughs> it really worked. Were you scared at all? I was scared. I was scared. I mean, everybody's nervous in such a big programme like that, such a popular programme. What is it about singing that really appeals to you? It's a release. It's a release. It's a release from what? What is a release? It's a release from? of emotions, what you're thinking at the time. You can put it into, into song. What about this has been, for you, the most surprising, but also the most emotionally affecting part of this whole process? That's the way everybody seems to have embraced me. That's the way everybody seems to have, apparently, fallen in love with me. Change me one little bit. I keep my feet very firmly in the ground. Because <laughs> you have to. Do you feel overwhelmed by it all? I do feel rather overwhelmed and humbled. Yeah. I'm very humbled and very grateful. It's been nearly a week since Susan Boyle took the world by storm. And this shy, retiring woman has finally become comfortable in what is now a starring role. Revealing this much of herself has always been difficult for Susan. In fact, this was my interview with her just yesterday. Um, Nothing personal. No, I'm not asking questions on personal things. I'm not going to answer that. Today, a complete 180. Susan's yeah. now opening up about her family and the inspiration of her parents. I mean, you, you come across very confident when you sing. You know? <laughs> Do you think that's why you have that confidence? And that, I, that guess, you... I, I guess my parents are, are there, you know, with me, you know? Yeah, it seems like they, they give you, you know, they give you that sort of joy of singing and expressing yourself. Of course. Yourself. It's, just, it's in the blood. It's in everybody's blood. The ability to make people happy as well. I know that sounds corny, but that's <laughs> there. <laughs> These are sisters. She shows us family photos she's kept buried beneath her fan mail. 
and portraits painted by her late mother, including one of herself as a baby. It was some family. It was a nice family. A warm and friendly family. I'm blessed to have a good family. Swing your hips, baby. Swing your but this woman who's never been kissed is revealing a bold and saucy side, funny and endearing. Just please see him over the hill, down by that river, so please see. You know, stuff like that, you know. I'm twittering on here and I wouldn't even open my mouth before. For God's sake. What have you done to me? What have you done to me? What's been done? Susan Boyle has become a star and is now loving it. <laughs> Atika Schubert, CNN, Blackburn Village, near Scotland. But like its new star in residence, there's more to Blackburn than meets the eye. Well, this is it, downtown Blackburn. Susan Boyle's house is about 50 minutes walk from here, her church about 10 minutes up the road, and this is the pub where she sang karaoke every Sunday. Let's go in and have a pint. Owner Tony Moran says everyone knew she had a voice, but no one knew she would be a star. Susan's always been a good singer. She's never ever changed. It's just the people out with the village probably that don't realize how good she was. So how are Blackburnians coping with international media suddenly flocking to their village? Everybody's been brushing their teeth all week. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like black, man. <laughs> okay. Every night in my dreams, I see you, I feel you, that is how I know you, go on. Far across the distance and spaces between us, that is how I know you, go on. Near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. Once more, you open the door, you are here in my heart and my heart will go on and on. So where are you going to go from here? I mean, whether you win the show or not, your life is clearly very different now, isn't it? It seems to be, but that's baby steps. It's just baby steps. I keep saying baby steps because I believe in being cautious. <laughs> she says she's never been on a date, never even been kissed. A week ago, the world didn't know about Susan, but a week's a long time in showbiz. Her performance has already had nearly 25 million viewings online, and she's gone global. Why are people so fascinated by you? Probably because I'm an ordinary person they didn't know before. Trying to maybe do something which is maybe every, every person's dream. It all seems a bit unreal. It's a bit, a bit hard to sink in at the moment. You know, but uh, I think if I keep my feet firmly on the ground and just realise I've got an ordinary life out with that, that's what keeps me on the level. Susan lives alone, but near family, who are rallying to keep her feet on the ground. She used to sing in a church choir, but stopped two years ago when her mum died. Yeah, about about two, two years I hadn't sung, because I didn't really feel like it. I mean, nobody does. But uh, I've got the, I had to pluck up enough courage to keep going. I decided myself that I would like to audition for them, and I, was, I had, had to uh, prove a point. I had to prove a point and sort of put, the, put all the baddest bad things which have happened behind me and do something else. And this, this seemed the, uh, the right moment. This is just really lifting you then, is it? This is just... Um, so it's really of... lifted me. Yeah, it's really lifted me. And I hope, hope, hope I've lifted other people. I've made them happy. <laughs> Where did your voice come from? Don't know. <laughs> did, did your mum sing? Is it a family thing? It's a family thing. We're all a musical family. We're all, all very good at singing. I think you've told the world you've never been kissed. I don't want to comment on that. That was said as a joke. <laughs> really? I can't sneak a peck now? Are you saving one for Simon Cowell? Can I? Come on then, I'm not shy. There you go. You saw the first time I've been kissed. That, that is some claim to fame, isn't it? Thank you.